Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 how you doing? So I am back from my seven-day cryptocurrency road trip. I still have a big smile on my face for many reasons. Um, I guess this is going to be like a weekly wrap-up if I had to put a title on the video. And I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, August 14th, 2008, I said to myself, self, I want to do as many videos. This is true. I really did say this to myself. I want to do a YouTube channel on cryptocurrencies, different projects, etc. But I also want to showcase women in the crypto space that are the hardest workers in the room, have a lot of dedication, have a lot of passion. And at the beginning, doing the videos, I did that, but I never really met or got to know uh, some of the women in the crypto space on like a friendship level. It was more just like an interview and then, and the reason I say that, for those of you that know me, I am a high relational person. So, Right before I hit the record button, this week I had two of the most wonderful interviews with two bright, articulate, full of integrity women, Amina Matala. What'd you say, Crypto Mentor 99? I said, Amina Matala. Her video that I did will be in the link below. We did a little 42 minute bright lady up in Canada. She goes from being afraid of cryptos, doubting herself to starting meetups in her local, in her local town. Unbelievable lady, sweet personality. Then two days before the end of the crypto road trip, uh, Litecoin Lisa, what'd you say crypto mentor 99? I said Litecoin Lisa, sends me a direct message and says, hey, can I interview you? It would be an honor. I'm like, no, 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 the honor would be all mine. So uh, Litecoin Lisa interviewed me Wednesday when I was in Iowa City. Again, sweet lady, great story, full of passion, full of integrity, full of insights. Uh, again, Amina, and Litecoin Lisa, crypto legends, crypto pioneers, and all around solid people. Video number two in the description box below will be Litecoin Lisa. Now on to the goofy stuff. So my last stop, gosh, was it yesterday? Yesterday seems like a year ago. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I stopped at the Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. And I did three videos. You're going to have to find those on Twitter, I guess. Um, maybe the last video I'll put in the video slot number three below. But I went to the um, Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City. And when you walked out the door, there was free money. This is a bag of shredded money from the Money Museum. And guess what? It's not worth a whole lot. <laughs> and then they had a little gift store. So I said to myself, self, what kind of trouble could I get in at the gift store buying something? Well, I got some $100 bills. <laughs> These are notepads and it's wrapped in plastic. That's why it's reflecting off of the light, but it's it's called Banknotes 50 sheet memo pads printed on the front and it's blank in the back. So this is worthless. This is worthless. And these are pretty much worthless. Anyhow, it was fun being at the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City, and um, 
for some of you, I probably sound like a broken record, but just thank you. My heart's full of appreciation. Um, I got to meet, uh, who did I get to meet? I get, I got to meet Silvertooth, Silvertooth in Bloomington, Illinois. And several towns away, I got to meet the man, the myth, the legend, Clint Westwood. Crypto Man 99, you mean Clint Eastwood? No, Clint Westwood. Digibyte pioneer, crypto legend, and all around good guy. And he showed me around the town square with some cool Abe Lincoln stuff. It was awesome sauce. Anyhow, this is getting to be about a six minute video, but I just wanted to thank everybody and yeah, I, I want to do another trip. I don't know when it's going to be, but um, yeah, I just want to say thanks. I'm rambling. Crypto Mentor 99 loves you all, and we'll be in touch. See you later. Bye-bye.